Okay, students, I'm going to make a really quick video just to help you understand how to just draw your, your picture by focusing on each box rather than the whole picture. But to help you out, I'm going to help you create a handy little drawing tool. So I'm going to give you a sticky note. And on your sticky note, you're going to take your ruler. You're going to place it in the middle of your sticky note going horizontally. Once you've done that, make sure it's straight. You're going to draw a line on one side and then draw a line on the other so that you have two horizontal lines going right across like this, okay? Now you're gonna take your paper and you're gonna turn around so that your lines are vertical. You're gonna lay it down. You're gonna take your ruler, place it in the middle again. Draw two more lines, one on one side of your ruler and then one on the other side. Okay, now you end up with six one inch squares like this. Okay. Now you're going to take your sticky note. So now you want to take your paper and you want to fold it in half. Make sure your corners line up and you want to make sure that your sticky side of the, the note is going to the non-sticky side so it's not so hard to open back up. And when you fold it, don't crease it real hard. Just barely crease it. And then you're going to cut on this line here and this line here and this line right here. So you're cutting this little bit out right here. So go ahead and do that. And now you want to make two of these, one for your reference photo and one for your gridded paper. So make sure you make two. So then when you open it, it's maybe a little bit tricky. You will have a one inch by one inch square. This will help you so that you can actually put your square down and focus on each individual square of your drawing. Now what you're going to do is we're going to take our, our drawing and we're going to look at the letters. Now I'm going to darken these up so you can see them better. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then A, B, C again over here. Okay, so there. So now we have our numbers and we have our letters, okay? What we're going to do first is we're going to start from the top and go down. Remember, we're starting from the top and we're going down. So we're going to start from one. We will do number one and go across. Then we'll do number two, go across. Number three, go across and so forth. So the first thing I'm going to do, there's nothing in number one, right? So you can see there's nothing in number one, A. Okay, so this is one A. There's nothing here in this box. So we'll go to two. Is there anything here in this box? Yes, there is. So if you look, 
you will see, and I'm going to use my pencil because I want to be able to erase if I have to. You'll see that right here is a line, just a little line right here, right? So I'm going to go over to my B, and I'm going to see where it starts. It starts about right here, and then ends about right there. So let me make a line there and a line there. Okay. Oh, I forgot to use my little tool here. Let's put that on there. Okay, so this one is in 1B. Put that on there. Put this on here. And then I'm going to draw this little area right here. You see that little bit of area? That's what I'm going to draw. Okay, now I'm going to move this over. I'm going to go to... 1C. Put my paper there. Take this over to 1C. Put my paper there. Okay, and you'll see that this goes about right here. So you might pick up and just connect. Make sure that it does connect. Put your make a mark there. Close it. And you'll see that it goes up just a little bit. See, it goes up and then over. So up just a little bit and over, about like that. Now we're gonna move this over here to, this is 1D. And we'll move this over to 1D. Now we want this to connect again because it has to connect. So we'll just make a little line there then put this on, and then notice how it goes across and then down a little bit. So it goes across and then tips down just a little. So I'm going to go across, and then I'm going to tip down just a little. Okay, now you'll notice that from here, it actually, let's put this on here. This is E1. You have to make sure you have your you have your letters correct because if you don't, then you will put something in. For instance, if I didn't have E1 and I accidentally did E2, then this little bit right here would be down here. So you have to make sure that everything goes together. Now, you want to also make sure again that that connects so that has just a little dip in it. And now I'm going to put my thing on there and I'm going to come down and then go over so I'll come down and then go over and it goes to over to about the middle of that square so if you'll notice that line right right here it goes to about the middle so you're going to stop about the middle okay next we're going to go to there's nothing in F or G, so let's go down and we'll come back. Now we're coming back this way. So here is E2. Let's put that in E2, and you'll see how that is. So this is E2. I'll put that on E2. You see how it go? it's almost in the middle again, and then it's almost in the middle again. So we'll take this and make sure that you connect it and then go down like this. Go down like this till about the middle. Now let's come on over. You don't, don't worry about that. You don't need to worry about these parts in your hair. Just go over. We're just doing the outline right now. So just go over till you find the outline, which is right there. That would be in, in 2B. So put your paper down on 2B, and you'll notice that it goes almost halfway, but a little bit past halfway point, and then goes back down to the halfway point again. So let's go to B2. Sounds like a bingo game, doesn't it? And then about right here, so make sure that it connects about right there, and then we'll go down almost to the middle, right there. Okay, now we're going to go over to A2. 
And you'll notice the A2 is just a little below the halfway mark and a little on this side of the halfway mark. So we want to make sure that connects, though. So let's make a connection. Move it over. And then this is where we're going to go to, about right here. Okay. Now we're going to move it down. We're going to go to 3A. And what does 3A look like? Let's, let's look at that. About right there. So 3A, I think I went a little bit too far over. Yeah, I did. Let's erase it. That's why we use a pencil. So we can erase. So yeah. So 2. Yep, it, I did it too much. It should have only had this little tiny bit right there. So let me put that back over like that. That's where I should have had it right there. Okay, so let's put that back on there. Okay, and it did go like this and went down to about right there. That's better. It's not as much, okay? Now we're going to come on down to 3A. We're going to put that on there. And then we're going to take this, bring it down to 3A. But first we're going to find our, our connection, which is about right there. And this goes down almost all the way over but not quite. So you want to make sure it goes about like that. And then it will come over here. About like that. And go to the next one. You'll do this step by step for each square. Now you notice this only has the outline of right here. Oops, I need to move over. I'm sorry. I need to get over here. So you'll notice that this has the outline of right here right there see that just got a little bit of an outline so we'll go a little go like this and then come down about right there okay and then let's take it down even one one more okay so now you'll notice that the hair just pretty much goes straight down almost on the line so we'll go ahead and take it down and then we'll curve in a little bit on number seven. So let's go down like this and then curve in just a little bit on number seven, A, and then go down and go down and then right here, keep going. And then after we get to nine, let's put this on here. Okay, C9 right there and then nine right there and then you can see how this comes down up down up down so you go and it comes about halfway so come down about halfway go back up a little bit down almost all the way but not quite and then up and then all the way down okay and then the last one And we want to make sure that it connects. So put that on there. And then this goes about like this. It goes like this. And then in. So it's, all, it's sort of like a, um, I don't know, octagon. So you just go down. And it goes down to um, about halfway, the halfway point. And then it goes down to... I'd say probably right here. So it's a little bit below the halfway point. So like this. Okay. Now remember that line is her shoulder line. So let's put that in there. So you see where I'm going with this? Now when you're ready to do her eyes or, or her ears, her ear right here. And let's do that. Let's go to 5A. 5A. And then you'll see right here, almost in the middle, you go up. Well, it's, it's about right here. See how that is? About right there is where the outside of her ear is. 
And then when you get about right here, then it curves in and then goes back down and around just a little bit. So let's do that. So it's about right here. It goes up about halfway, which is about a little bit more than halfway, about right there. And then it comes in, it curves around, and it comes down and then goes in like that. Okay. Now, if you want to, you can also part draw this part. Yeah, go ahead and draw that part. So this comes up to here. It's about right there. And it ends about right here. Okay. So let's do that about right there. And then it ends about right there. And then you've got a little bit of an eyebrow that is right here. So let's see. It's about right there. Just a little bit of an eyebrow right there. Okay. Now we're going to bring it down just a little bit. Like this. Notice how it is. It's about right there. It comes in and about like that. So go ahead and draw that. Let's see. It's about right here. So it's about right here. Comes down and then goes in about right there. And then you've got this little swervy thing. Put the little swervy thing in there. And then you've got this right here. This darker part. So just go ahead and make that darker part. And then you've got this little thing right here. Okay. And now the ear comes over this way. And it goes about right here, I'd say. So we'll go about right there. And then you've got this little tiny darker part. And then it goes up. Up. Like, oh. Um. I think let me erase that. I think I'm going to come up here and do this part first. It's about right there. Goes in. And then about like that. Okay, so then we have that part. Okay. So, and now that I've looked at it, this isn't as rounded. It's more pointed. And then this comes over like this. And now we're going to go to 6A. 6, no, 7A, I'm sorry, 7A. Okay, so I want to make sure that the bottom of the ear connects like that and that the bottom of her face connects like that. So, and then I'm going to bring this, come in just a little bit, and then the face will come down about like that. Okay, then we'll come on down. There's just a tiny little piece Right here, if you'll notice, there's a tiny little piece right there. I didn't even need to put that there, but yeah. And then, after we did that, okay, so we've, we've got this. Let's go ahead and stop there and go back up, okay? So let's go back up here. We have the eyebrow here, and then... That was 5A, 5A. Let's go to 4A, 4A. And you'll notice on 4A that it has, I mean 4B, I'm sorry, on 4B. You'll notice on 4B that it has this little area right here. So you just want to, and it comes out to the middle and about right there. So let's go to the middle and then about right there. And that should pretty much connect with that. Okay, so 4B. And then you have all the little hairs and everything right here too. So and then until it goes down. And then you got this little piece right here. Okay. 
Now we can come on down to 5B and 5B. So I'll do 5B. And let's kind of find the connection with the eye, the eyebrow. So we have like a, that and that. And then we're going to bring this up, around, and over. So, and it goes up about like that, around, and over. And the same thing. And then it goes down a little bit thicker to where it's more in the middle, like that. Okay, now we're going to do the eye part down here. So don't worry about this uh, sh this values part right now. Just focus on the eye. So the eye is about a little bit in past the middle. Goes like that. Up a little bit. And then, then a little past the, the middle. A little past the middle, which is right there. And then you're going to come up. And it's going to end up about right there there okay so let's see about right there so it's going to go up and end about right there okay and then right here is going to be the pupil and actually let me see yeah, it actually went a little bit further. And then the pupil of the eye came about right here. So let's erase.